You are so beautiful to me. Joe Cocker. What? Can't you see? Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I'm Corbin. Ashley! Uh, please follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more Twitter. juicy content. <laughs> it's so juicy. Thank you for support us on Patreon, exclusive content on there, blocked content. Uh, everything on there is up there before it's on YouTube. So if you see a comment from two days ago, it's because they're from Patreon. Yep. <laughs> but today uh, we are doing the Broad Girl's Guide to Beauty. The and Broad, Broad Girl's, Girl's Guide to Gender in the last one. Which you didn't see. I did not. So you don't have any idea what's coming. Yeah. Idea. So we're not going to say anything because it took us by surprise. Yes, I'm we'll say that ready. much. It's, a, it's poetry. Uh, yeah, we knew that. We knew it was poetry, but what we didn't know um, is... And there were some Anything comments else. by <laughs> some very ignorant people in the last one. I will block you and delete your comments. Just so you know. Yeah, Let's I, go! <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we'll talk about that after. Oh, wait. Oh, oh dear. Oh, wait. God, what happened? Oh, no. What, what did you do? Oh, it's Kevin. Here we go. It's fine. Oh, we're fine. Every face wash was a slap in the face because I was a skin tone which was ugly. My chest was too small for a girl who loves a few body, and my skinny waist and unhealthy thigh gap was the only thing I wore confidently around. I had a voice and opinion, but they muted my sound, probably because I was told boys only like girls who were fair and lovely. My cousin brother starved himself because skinny abs were easier to obtain than a healthy diet. He read about actors doing juice diets and decided he wanted to try it. All because there wasn't a single GQ or man's world that didn't have abs and boss. We forget that beauty for men also comes with a cost. I have asked for a penny for your thoughts, but I've heard being healthy is wealthy, and it's both we've lost. Mm. I am the color of the strong fragrant tea. Auntie oh. sips are nonchalantly remarking, but Pasha would be prettier if she was fair. The color of our skin dictates our beauty, and that's not the only thing that's unfair. When we brown girls revolt against our own deflections, Every single time an Indian magazine puts a light-skinned girl on a cover calling her brown. I asked my mother to get me healthy, yellow paste over yellow paste because anything is better than brown, anything is better than dark. Only light-skinned with European features are considered art. My friend's face is covered with cream more than his girlfriend's kisses. He flinches every time she says she accepts him for his true colors. How do I teach him to embrace the color of his skin when she keeps gifting him fairness creams? His daily baptism with sunscreen to protect him from suntans. Men lathering themselves to the same behind closed doors because apparently being insecure makes you less of a man. Ooh. When I was asked to be an idol body type, I was taught they want the curvy chick but not the cellulite. They want the big butt but not the thick thighs. Uh. They want the top small but the waist smaller. They want the heart big but the chest bigger. And often women of gender reiterate these thoughts but you see it's internalized, it's what we've been taught. So I asked my mom instead of looking for grooms who are fair, let's look for grooms who treat people fairly. Because the color of someone's skin isn't what we should consider when we look to marry. Virtues, belief, opinion and decisions scale larger than a stand on a fairness scale. Forget Snow White, say hello to Chocolate Brown, I write my own fairy tale. There isn't a single person who isn't pulled apart by these expectations. Brown girls talking getting the right foundation. Boys constantly doing weight calculations. We're all more than our coloration and body types. Cause you and I, we're all alike. With the hope of being able to someday love another, let's begin by being our own first lovers. Because people aren't made to fit or custom made, it's time we realize love comes in all shapes and shades. Amen. It's time we loved all shapes and shades. about it. I loved that it was so expressive, but it didn't go on. It wasn't forever. Like it wasn't the longest poem you've ever heard explaining every little thing. Right. It's still like, I know that this is a thing in, a, in India and then other places where it's wanting to be lighter skinned. And it's so funny 
because in America, a lot of like fair skinned girls want to be tan. Darker. Mm -hmm. Like that's all they want to do. And so they get fake tans. They do they all the tanning creams. They golden look. Look. They go, look. And they so go they to they tanning do, booths. Yeah, they do everything that they can to be tan. And it's this expectation that you're prettier when you're tanner. So it's so, it's so different. It's true. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's the complete opposite, but it's the exact yeah. same Yeah, and it's issue. so crazy. It's the exact it's so same crazy. Issue. Yeah. And like the, the other issues they talked about with the the weight and the waist yeah. and the boobs and the that was spot on everything, everything she said. It's about kind that. of universal. Yeah, um, for the body type yeah, thing. For when all, you want the big butt but no looks, cellulite, you yeah. want skinny thighs. It's like for all women around the world. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously men as well in there that she she threw in there. Yeah. Um, she was saying for the abs. Yeah. What she was saying. Yeah. Um, but it's nowhere nearly as ingrained in uh, in men as it is for. It's just ingrained differently. Yeah, it's ingrained to be masculine. Differently. It's like right. for yeah. me, for, I remember when I was growing up because, I, I, and I think it's been this way for guys mostly, you know, for a long time. But like, I, I so looked up to Sylvester Stallone. Mm. Uh, he was the he was the reason I started to lift weights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted, and because he and I were were the exact same height, mm -hmm. and we were very similar physique, so there was almost this familial connection with Sly. Mm -hmm. um, but the great thing about Sly was that he never, um, because I followed him so closely, he's never talked about that as the exterior wasn't what was important. Yeah. It, it's 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 living right and being healthy. It's, really it's, it's, it's being holistic and healthy. And he has to, he actually wasn't very healthy when he was doing some of the things he did like during Rocky Three. But that's beside the point. The 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 self esteem. Yeah. I I reached a place where I realized, and it was really hard. I realized my self-esteem was too linked to lifting weights. Yeah. And I actually, for a time, stopped. I still exercise for health, but I stopped. And it, I, I remember sharing this with some guys that I was friends with and said, I have made muscle building and Stallone's physique too central to my identity. Yeah. And I remember crying and saying, I was scared because I felt like if I didn't have muscles, I would be looked at differently. I wouldn't be seen as strong of a man. I wouldn't feel like I was as strong of a man. Mm. And it's still, it's still there. And like when I'm at the gym, I've said this before and it gets me emotional, that when I see people that are there that are incredibly out of shape, mm -hmm. if they only knew how much the people in shape respect and admire them, mm -hmm. And you don't want to go over and say that to them because you feel like that's just such a wrong thing to do. But you know how hard it is for, especially somebody who can't help their body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe they've got something going on with their, their hormones or they've got something going on with their, some people just genetically are big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, I think all the shapes and sizes thing comes across in all, and you can't ever be perfect. No you're one's either perfect. too muscular. And this is for girls too. Like you're either way too skinny and you need to eat. If you have weight on you that's not muscled in your fat, and then if you're super muscular, you're like a boy. So it's just like, you yeah, can't you're not, ever... You're not thin enough, you're not big enough, yeah. you're not strong enough, your teeth, whatever. And it's so sad because there, some people will have their ideas of perfect, but for someone else, that perfection is, oh no, you're too skinny, oh no, you're too fat, oh no, it's too fat. So it's just this expectation put on everybody that no one's ever okay with other people or themselves. The, the thing that needs to change it is not just each person. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has to start there. Yeah. But the biggest problems with this are media, mm -hmm. entertainment, yep. and propagating the lies mm -hmm. that um, this is what this is what beauty this is, is what beauty subconsciously is subconsciously and consciously. Like <clears throat> even the <clears throat> specific people you put on covers of magazines, and luckily it's changing. Yeah, it is changing it slowly. Is. A lot of actors a and models. They, they, they won't do photo shoots if it's ever um, going to be photoshopped. photoshopped. They're doing less makeup. Yeah, but you've so got to be in. You can see, you can't. That's a very slim margin though, yeah. because yeah. those are the only the people with the power to say, "Hey, Vogue, I'll do your cover, but we're doing it my way." Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. Most people, Vogue, models. will say, "Yeah, no." Yeah, Te and they don't have an option. Technically, like we could go out for a modeling job, and we wouldn't have that power. No. To no. Tell them anything. They no. can do whatever they want. We sign a contract, and they kind of do whatever they want. Right. And they make us so. look completely different than we yeah, actually yeah. are. Yeah. Exactly. Life. So it's only the, the the people at the top who, who it's it's important for them to take a stand. Um, and do the right thing. But, but it, yeah. it's sad how long it's taking. I had someone yeah. message me on Instagram about their skin color because of the video we had done about that. And how, like she was saying, but in the video, the kinds of things that has to be dealt with and 
family members saying you're too brown. Yeah. Having your yeah, mom say having to you, people say that you're to you're you. too brown. Mm-hmm. You'll never marry that kind of guy. You're too brown. Family members and stuff. And family I actually do that here I, too. Oh, they do. But I had here, here's the thing. I had to say to them something that was said a long time ago. Somebody once said, "Don't judge people." by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was Martin Luther King Jr. during the civil rights moment of the 1960s, yeah. who he had the balls to say that and he was shot and killed. Um, and now we're still having to say that to people. Yeah. Like it's still a problem. We're still, we've come a long way, yeah. but we got a long way to go. Uh-huh. A lot of issues. It's very, long, very long, small steps long moving. way to go. In but the right direction. This hopefully. this girl, she's a fantastic, poet. fantastic. Uh, she I don't know if she does anything else. If she's like an actress, uh, or how old is she? Or what she is? But is uh, you know, you know what I like best about her. I don't know. if She's just a poet. Uh, what I like best about her poetry, aside from the poetic nature where she links some things together powerfully with the English language, yeah, she's able to present the problem without going on some kind of a tangent exactly. that seems like she's trying to, to convince you, convince you, or even more. She's trying to convince you, but what I don't get from her is that she's got this real axe to grind, and yeah. she's gonna go. She's gonna go get revenge on the people that treated her badly. Yeah. Some people do that with their art. That's very true. And she. She doesn't she's do that. She's just expressing it. She is just talking passionately. She, yes. It needs to change, like Martin Luther King would. Yeah. He had no bone to pick with anybody, but he was gonna stand it wasn't at the line. Like, you're bad. You're bad. You're bad. You can it beat was... me. Yeah, but still people that they think that anybody talking about a problem that I know. they don't see as a problem, they think they're just playing the victim. I know. Uh, which is comments we got in the last one. I'm sure we'll get oh. comments in this one and you'll be blocked. Don't worry. Yeah. I'll do that yep. for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, oh, but you. yeah, the, the, so everybody, wherever you are around the world, there's people like that, that mm-hmm. just, they don't, they don't want to deal with the issue. So yep. they think you're just complaining. Right. And that's part yeah. of the problem. Yeah. Right. Those people, they don't want to acknowledge that there's these issues. You exactly. have to acknowledge so they, they it. Just, Ignoring it, it is it, not right. right. Ignoring it's way easier. Right. Yeah. Anytime, there it will be people, go away. There will be people in every country in the world who just because a woman mm-hmm. stands up for herself, whatever the case may be, yeah. mm-hmm. not about being a woman, it could be for any reason. For anything. Yeah. They will say, ah, oh, more feminist crap. Yep. It could be for something that's specifically for men and they will still say that's right. a feminist yeah. thing. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay. That's cool. the problem. Yep. And I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, I don't either. It doesn't Baby make any sense. Steps. I think the uh, gene pool needs some chlorine. <laughs> <laughs> we need another plague. <laughs> oh, no! Corbin would say that! <laughs>